close enough. Okay. Um, okay. So multi-level security. Okay, keep that in mind. Four different levels: top secret, secret, confidential, and classified. Now, uh, compart. So multi-level security is designed to restrict the information up and down, right? So if you have a top secret, if you have a secret clearance, you can't see the stuff. It's you know the higher level. That's not good enough in practice, usually, okay? I mean, suppose you have two people here sitting with a top secret clearance. And they're working on two completely different projects that have nothing in common with each other. They don't have any reason to communicate with each other. Should they be sharing information amongst each other? Probably not. I mean, it just increases the chance that information will get exposed, right? So you want to keep it as tightly held as possible. Okay, that's the idea of a compartment. Okay, in addition to having the different levels, we'll create little compartments where we can put stuff in there and the information is not supposed to go outside of that compartment. So, okay, so a hierarchy might not be good enough because up and down restrictions are not enough. We want to restrict across within the different uh, levels. <laughs> so, for example, suppose we have uh, this project, it's top secret, um, and it deals with uh, some particular topic. We'll call it top secret, and we'll put it in its own compartment, because it's top, se it's top secret, but we'll put it in its own compartment called cat. There's another project, we'll put it in its compartment called dog. Cat and dog, they don't have to have anything to do with each other, so we'll keep them separate this way. Okay, so. If you know something about the top secret cat project, you're not supposed to tell it to just ordinary top secret people or top secret dog people, right? Just top secret. That's the idea. Um, okay, so why do we do this? Why don't we just create, here, I got a better idea, okay? Instead of creating these compartments and making this more complicated like this, why don't we just create another level above top secret? Call it top, top secret. Okay, and then we can put those, you know, those things like cat and dog up there. Wouldn't that work? Either all the people in cat or all the people in dog. Yeah, okay. So, so it's a hierarchy, right? Who's ever on top gets to see everything else. We don't want that. We just want to keep them separate. That's the idea of the compartment. Okay, so you can't really just create a new, uh, new level because we don't want this to be able to see this, or this guy to be able to see this. We don't want those things to be true, okay? And the compartments allow us to uh, accomplish that. Now, again, if you work in uh, you know, a classified environment, you won't hear people talk about it this way. What you'll hear them talk about is the need to know principle. You're just trying to enforce the need to know. You know, people should only know what the, the minimum that they need to know in order to do their job, all right, and for the project they're working. This is kind of a formal way to enforce that. Yeah. If you have uh, two, say, secret compartments, is it, is, it, is it assumed that top secret would be able to see in both oh. of those? Next slide. Good question. Okay. So, okay, suppose we have something like this. So we have the top secret. If you have both the cat and dog, right, uh, you could be in both, right? Be working on both projects. You could see both. And you could see everything that's top secret, of course. You know, this is transitive, right? You can get down here. Uh, you can see everything that's secret and so on. On the other hand, suppose you've got a top secret clearance. Can you see stuff that's secret cat? <laughs> yeah. The answer is no, because there's no path that gets you there, right? Does that make sense? Well, the idea is that this cat, this compartment, cuts across the category. Okay, so you have to be in that compartment to see anything about it, whether it's top secret, secret, or whatever. Okay. Okay, so... Principle, yeah. well, that's a design decision. You could set it up some other way. You could, yeah, you could. Okay, but this is the way it actually works. <laughs> okay, so, uh, you know, for example, even if you have top secret cat, you can't see secret, you know, uh, cat dog. Something is restricted for both of those compartments. Okay. So, in a sense, this is more, this is the most restrictive way, I guess, to, to organize it. Uh, okay. 
that. You could certainly use multi-level security without compartments or vice versa if you wanted to. But as a practical matter, you know, any multi-level security system has compartments. And in fact, if you, you know, if you look at the spy cases that come up, some guy, you know, it's always some guy who worked at, you know, CIA or NSA or whatever for decades. So the guy was there for a long time and what, what happened? He got into these compartments, which are the really secret stuff, right? And they never kicked him out, right? So he got this compartment, he got this compartment, got this one, and pretty soon he had hundreds of these compartments with super sensitive access to super sensitive information. And so suddenly he became a really valuable guy for somebody to pay off, you know, to, in order to get this uh, information. Um, okay, so anyway, multi-level securities uh, used with compartments. Um, this is an interesting case that was, uh, uh, Ross Anderson talks about this in his uh, security engineering book. Uh, he says uh, the British Medical Association was told to, you know, pr protect medical records. Okay, so these are public, you know, people's medical records in England. They're supposed to protect these. So um, and his story is something like this: that um, the reason they they passed this law to protect medical records was because some member of Parliament, his medical records became public, and there was some embarrassing stuff in there about social diseases or something like that. And suddenly, they passed a law saying you got to protect medical records. Okay, so. so as part of that law, they um, specified that they should use a multi-level security kind of system. Okay, so, so how would they set that up? That was the question. So they started thinking about it. You know, they couldn't make sort of you know, doctors, top secret, nurses, you know, correspond to secret, you know, administrators, sort of confidential, and so on. Now, what about, you know, various diseases would be more sensitive than others, and so on. So, okay, so here's one idea. They could make AIDS top secret, but prescription, that's just prescriptions, right? Those should be secret. Now, what's wrong with this? Yeah, okay, so, right, so there might be prescriptions that are only, you know, only given if you have AIDS so people can look at the secret information and figure out the top secret information. So how do you solve something like that? You know, you have these contradictory cases. What are you going to do? What happens in practice is you just want to push everything to top secret. It just makes life so much easier. <laughs> But if you do that, it becomes kind of pointless, right? The doctors, the nurses, the administrators all have to have top secret just to do their job. So they couldn't really do that. So in this particular case, at least, what they ended up doing was they only had one level, and they just made a bunch of different compartments for, for everything. It seemed to actually work in this particular case. All right. <clears throat> 